you are poor. Y'all asking why I'm mad. I'm, I'm mad because y'all don't deserve this skin because y'all are poor. Like, y'all tell me it's for charity. Y'all need charity. Y'all need to charitize yourself because you're poor. Do you guys remember when Pink Mercy initially came out as a skin for Overwatch back in 2018? I sure did. I had to get the skin because one, I was a Mercy main, and two, the skin looked really cool and it had these crazy effects and everything was just pink and you kind of just had to get it as a Mercy main. But back then, people weren't getting the skin because they just either A, didn't have the money for that time and they, they, they had to feed themselves basically, or two, they weren't really a Mercy main and they just didn't get the skin, but other people would just buy it just because the skin was good and the proceeds were going towards the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. I forgot how much money they raised, but it was quite a bit of money and the skin was never to be returned again until season 11 of Overwatch 2 where they brought back Pink Mercy and they brought back a skin variant, which is the rose gold version, which is going to be $20. You can get the original skin for roughly $15, but you're just going to get the skin. I don't know if you're going to get the special icons because when you first got the initial skin back in 2018, you got some specialty icons, and I don't think you can get these now. So if you bought Pink Mercy back in 2018, you're going to have these icons, and you can put it on your name, and at least the Mercy mains will know you got the original skin back in 2018. But... A lot of people are not happy about people being able to get the Pink Mercy skin due to the fact that people would buy accounts that would have the Pink Mercy skin for anywhere between $500 to $900, which is absolutely ridiculous. And even I got comments mid-matches asking if I bought an account because I have the Pink Mercy skin. No, my account has been made since the beta and I've had this account since day one. So I have Overwatch 2 open right now and you can see I have the original Pink Mercy skin owned and if you go over here you get the Rose Gold Mercy bundle. So you get the Rose Gold skin, you get the staff, and you just get a bunch of, you know, accessories and cosmetics. So when you get the Rose Gold version, you get this icon. Currently I have this darker pink icon in the corner which means I got the original skin. So if we look at all of my, I guess, playtime, let's see. I have roughly almost 500 hours on Mercy, and if you go over to Customization and I change the heroes to Mercy, for example, you're going to go ahead and see the Specialty tab right here. So this is what you would get if you got the original Pink Mercy skin and, I guess, uh, the other skins. Yeah, so you get these for the charity if you get the Rose Gold Bundle. So at least... You can put this one on and show people you got the original skin back in 2018. But due to the fact that people spent $500 buying these accounts just to get the Pink Mercy skin and now it's back, people aren't happy. And if you've been looking into this Pink Mercy Overwatch stuff on like, I don't know, Twitter or whatever social media platform you're using, some people are not uh, happy about this. You, you probably have seen this clip, but I'm going to go ahead and play some of it. Be laughing my way to the bank on my million dollar account. I'm about to laugh my way to my bank on this a million dollar account. You can't afford it. You can never. You can never spend a million dollars on an account like I did. You can never spend a million dollars on an account like I did. You can never spend a million dollars on an account like I did. You're broke. You're poor. You're poor. You're poor. You're poor. You are poor. You are poor. You are poor. You are poor. Yeah, y'all, y'all need to characterize yourself because you're poor. Like y'all talking to me about something and you're poor. Like. How y'all gonna be like, oh, it's for charity. Yes, I, I gave my money to charity six years ago when the skin was $15. So clearly you can tell that this is just rage bait. I honestly don't think this person is actually being real, 100% angry. But honestly, if I can give you guys my personal take, I'm slightly upset. But how can I be upset when this is for charity? I understand this is a very rare skin and people would buy accounts, but only the people who are salty about this, this Mercy skin coming back, are the people who spent 500 bones asking, like, basically going to a website. There's, there's plenty of websites where you can buy people's accounts. People do this on League of Legends and Valorant. Like, oh, hey, I bought this, I got this new account, and I boosted it to uh, a really high rank, and they can sell it for X amount of dollars. People did that for Overwatch. I just think that's insane with how like much backlash we've gotten from Overwatch 2, how it was supposed to be this crazy PvP thing. It's supposed to differentiate from the first game. 
the game has flopped incredibly hard and i th this this girl i don't know who she is she's a streamer but this clip has been going around and i honestly think it's rage bait everyone in the comments is saying it's rage bait this person just sounds super ghetto like i'm not trying to be racist i'm half black myself but like she's she just sounds ratchet and angry and upset and i can understand where she's coming from but the thing is i just don't understand why people would be this upset but I actually want to go over some of these battle passes, or at least the season 11 battle pass, because I got the last one because I believe the last one had the Mercy Mythic skin. So if you go into the Mythic shop right here, the newest one is going to be Calamity Empress Ash. I, I don't play Ash a lot. I mean, I can do some stuff with Ash, but it's like, uh, I don't know if I want to get this battle pass. I mainly got the last one to get the Mercy Vengeance skin. And I got all the tears for it. This is a great skin. It's animated. It has a crazy looking gun. I love the sound effects and everything. But the Pink Mercy, that was the skin. Like, no skin was topping the Pink Mercy skin until the, the Evil Mercy came through, basically. I don't know which skin is better. These two skins are ba basically neck and neck. The Pink Mercy and the Vengeance Mercy skins are, like, right next to each other. It's just actually insane how like they managed to get this pink mercy skin back because i know a lot of my friends play mercy so to see them not have the skin and then they see me have the skin like i can understand why people wanted the pink mercy to come back i don't see a reason to get this battle pass at least for me you know some of the skins look cool like for example if you look over at this genji skin it looks all right to me but i have a similar skin and it's the Power Ranger skin for Genji. Yeah, right here. It's Genji Man. It's just red Power Ranger Genji. And if you look over to the new skin, wherever it is, Ultra Watch. So this doesn't look that different. Is this skin worth it? Are you going to get it? Is this going to be something that people aren't going to have later on down the road? Say when Overwatch 3 comes out, if we ever do get an Overwatch 3? Are they going to bring back Rose Gold Mercy and is the same cycle going to happen where people can't get Rose Gold anymore and all of a sudden people spend $300 to buy accounts only for it to come back? It could happen. I don't know if we're getting an Overwatch 3. I mean, we got some hero shooters coming along the way like Concord and stuff like that. Uh, I have no idea what's coming in the future. I know there's that new Valve game. There's a hero shooter from Valve coming. I have no idea, honestly. Overwatch 2, man, like, it just sucks how this game turned out. I need to look at my stats again. Let me, let me go to all modes and time played. Yeah, so, easily, Mercy is my most played. Reinhardt, Ball, Lucio, Winston. You go to my total time played, I have 2,206 hours on this game. It's just insane how much time I put into this game. And the reason why I got into this game was because I was big on Team Fortress 2. I have just over, a little over a thousand hours on Team Fortress 2. I have more than double on Overwatch. And just seeing this game become what it is, how pros don't even like how Overwatch is now, people want to go back to 6v6. Including myself, I kind of want 6v6 back due to the fact that it's really hard to play tank. And seeing how I have 300 hours on Rhine. It's, it's, it really sucks how this character is just completely ran over by every other tank in the game. Wrecking Ball, a lot of people say Wrecking Ball is like the worst tank in the game, but they have given him some changes. Lucio hasn't really changed much throughout the entire game. Like, similar to Zenyatta. Zenyatta hasn't gotten any major changes until recently where they, I guess put a timer on the Discord orb, so if you lose line of sight on the Discord orb, you can't put Discord on them again. I think that's about it. So, this game, I like the idea of Overwatch. I like the heroes. I like the animations they post on their YouTube channels and everything. It just doesn't seem like this game can, you know, hold people's attentions that well. I feel like I'm one of the very few people in my entire friend group that used to play this game consistently. Like, if you look at all the competitive seasons I've played, it doesn't go to Overwatch 1 seasons, but I've played all of these seasons. I think I maybe skipped out on a couple of them in Overwatch 2, but in Overwatch 1, at least, 
I played every single ranked season when all of my other friends who stopped playing Overwatch just never touched the game. And I was like solo queuing my entire time trying to hit that Masters again because I peaked 3705 in Overwatch 1 during the Moth meta, the Mercy meta, where everyone was playing Mercy to the point where she had a 100% pick rate. And the thing is, I bought Overwatch 1 to be a Genji main, believe it or not. I wanted to play Genji, but because players don't want to play supports, because players don't want to play the main tank with the shield, I was the guy to step in and play the role we needed. So I, instead of me playing Genji, I'm like, okay, fine, since nobody wants to heal, I'll play Mercy. Since no one wants to play a shield tank, I'll play Reinhardt. So I became a Mercy Reinhardt main, and... I wanted to play a lot of Lucio too. Like Lucio is my favorite character in Overwatch. But honestly, guys, with how people play this game, the damage heroes are the most fun heroes. Hands down. That's why there's more damage heroes than there are tanks and supports. I'm glad they're adding supports now and they're adding more tanks. But we still have so many DPS heroes in this game. And that's the funnest part of Overwatch because they kind of just do whatever they want. Tanks are fighting for their lives. And I guess what Flats would say, Flats is a player on Overwatch, support players are playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> They're just running away from people trying to survive, and that's all we have to do, you know? It's just Overwatch 2 became a shell, a shell of its former self, and a lot of pro players want to go back to Overwatch 1 because it was more balanced that way. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know what you guys think for Pink Mercy. Are you going to get Pink Mercy? Do you even play Overwatch 2 anymore? Let me know down in the comments below.